Hi, hi, Crystal here. Welcome to another video with the Interactive Immersive HQ. And this video will cover how to make this iconic Joy Division wallpaper look. So you may have seen people wear it on a t-shirt. This is, uh, maybe you have seen it in some type of meme illustration, like this one's with a cat, or this, I don't know why this was on uh, a box of cigarettes, but you've probably seen it, maybe you haven't, but either way, we're gonna recreate this look in Touch Designer and see how you can make it generative. And so this is what I got. It's controlled by a noise top. It is very flexible where you can play with how you want to have the noise affect it. And also we're not gonna cover over this video, but what's also preventing you from hooking up a connect or a leap motion and or audio and make this audio reactive or motion reactive. This is a starting point. I'll show you how this works and we'll begin in a clean network. Let's go. So here we're with a clean network. Let's start with making a line swap. We'll have two line swaps, which will create the grid system for, or the line system for the look. So this first one, I'll have the point B to B six B. And I want a lot of points, something like 80 points. But how that would look if you make this be reactive, put P and show the dots, then it is a long line with 80 points. So if I lower this, you can see now it's four points, but I want 80. And this will be the way that um, it will affect, the noise will affect later on. I will copy and paste this, but have this point to be different. I'll have the this back to zero and have this FBX Z, FBZ <laughs> uh, to be negative 60. So it will go backwards and I want the points to be 60. I also make this point visible. You'll see that it is going this way. So I'll add a copy sop. And what the copy sop will do is we'll copy all of this onto this point. Then if I show you from a top view, it makes all these lines and it'll be, it's 60 by 60, so it's a perfect square. Show you the points on this. Voila, a lot of, a lot, a lot of points. <laughs> and then after this, because right now it's on this, but then we have to have the mapping, the UV change. So we'll use a texture top, just sorry, texture stop. And for the projection access, we'll have it Y. We'll add a null. And I'll just call this lines. Look, all lines. Creative name, all lines. <laughs> now I'll add a geometry comp. And right now, I don't see this because we're not on a top view. So the rotation, I'll over here make the, uh, the RX to be 90. And now we can see the lines. And with any, any 3D thing, we'll need a camera. Well, you're gonna use a fog material, so we want a light. And a render top. this so a render top and right now we don't see it because the camera is like oh, I don't see it <laughs> so I'm gonna make this viewer active and I'll click on H same with the light H so it's very hard to see because it's dark and it's black so let's make a wrong material now I'll play with this material a little bit more later, but I'll first just put it on the geometry. And I'll change all this diffusion, this specular, all to white. 
constant all to white. Awesome, awesome. And this render render top, I'm gonna have this to be a different uh, different resolution because we see in this reference, usually it's a little bit of like a rect more of a portrait mode. So I will change this resolution to be 720 by 800. Great, great framing. Well, I like the framing. And then let's add a null and I'll just call this out. So this is what our thing will look like. And we'll have this in the background just so we can see what's happening. I'll set the background to black. So I'll add a transform. And background color, have the alpha to be one and comp over background color. So now we see our starting point. Great. And now I'll start adding the waves on this. So we're going to go into tops. We'll start with the ramp top. And this ramp top, it'll control half of this wave thing. So I want half of this resolution, which is 720 by eight, uh, 800. I will do, you can even just do like 720 divided by two, which is 360 and 800. So this will be the resolution of the ramp. And I want this to not have any up and then this to be full and then the back none. Um, like how, the reference, it is calm in the beginning and then noise on top and then calm back down. Here, we'll keep it in horizontal, horizontal type, but we'll have this alpha to go down and this to be, yeah, a bit white. And I'm gonna flip this and put it together. So I had a flip. And this flip, I'll have it to be flip X, and then I'll just lay out, comp it together. Layout, I'll have the um, scale resolution. Resolution to turn it on, awesome. So now it's 720 by 800, the, the same resolution of the output of this book. Great. Now I want to add a noise that can affect this. So I'll add in. in this noise top, I'll have it the same resolution, 720 by 800. Bam, bam. And let's play with some of the parameters on this. This is something that we can change, but uh, and, it's, and definitely make this on your own, uh, make this your own. But the type, I'll I had it, uh, I thought the per, uh, Perlin 3D worked pretty well. And I will set this period, I'll keep the period the same, harmonics to six, harmonic spread to one, uh, gain one through five, exponent to be four, <laughs> amplitude, I'll keep it the same. And trend, the transform, um, I have it move. I'll do a any dandy abs time, abs time dot seconds times point zero oh, point one. Great, beautiful. And I want to combine these two with a it set in multiply. And this will be our map that will affect this with font. But add a null. And this null, I'll call it text. I'm going to add something onto this in a bit, but let's first just see what happens if we have this on here. So this text, I will con have it affect the neural map. So I'll put this here and enable height map. I want to turn it on. Height map also. 
great. Nothing's happening. Why, why, why? <laughs> so let's, uh, let's change some of the stuff. Um, we'll have the bump scale to be 10. And let's do the displace vertical on. Something's happening. Something's happening. And let's do um, displace scale to be 4. Great. So right now you see that the waves are going inwards. Let's invert that. So we'll have this comp afterwards, we'll add a level. And then in this uh, uh, invert parameter, I'll create, I'll set it to one. And now we push it back up. And really, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Uh, it's like a little quick tutorial, but play around with the noise right now. I just kind of like the smooth, smooth kind of terrain look, which isn't how the Joy Division wallpaper look like. So we can play with having ah the harmonic spread higher. It's a bit fast now, and just really mold it into something that you like. Right now it's like really fast. What if we also make this slower? And play with it. And again, this is, can be a, something where you can make it interactive and have the amplitude be affected by an audio or motion, uh, motion, or rather than using a noise, using like some blend with a connect silhouette. And it's quite flexible and fun, and you create this iconic look. So I hope you enjoy this quick tutorial. Feel free to share what you make. And again, make this your own. Uh, you can tag the Interactive Mercy HQ Instagram and my personal Instagram, which I'll put in the comments below or at the description below, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're serious about taking your touch designer and interactive skills to the next level, I highly recommend you check out the Interactive and Immersive HQ Pro. It's the only educational resource and community of its kind for touch designer and interactive professionals. You can learn more by checking out the link in the description. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and the little bell icon for more awesome free content.